you don't know, my name is Sophia. You can follow me on Instagram. Today's video is going to be about art. As you can tell, I'm in my art corner. This is the space where the magic happens. By magic, I mean paintings. Painting. Paintings. Yeah, I'm going to be painting with gouache. It's going to be my first time painting with gouache. I actually filmed this video like three months ago, but I did not post it because uh, I will show you. This is this is the intro. This is the intro I had going for me. This is Joan. I hope this video is entertaining because if not, I'm just going to have to leave. I don't, I don't know uh, what I was thinking. <laughs> So a few months ago, I ordered a Hemi package of gouache paint from Amazon, and it came pretty fast. It comes in little tubs, which is really helpful because it's really easy to carry around instead of hauling around like a full-on paint set where you have to carry every individual item. Yeah, so I started by putting tape around the paper, and then I put the gouache into a glass palette, which I do think was a good idea because later on I had to keep using the water since it dried so fast, and the glass palette was just good for mixing. I started by using the blue, the dark blue in the background, and I do wish that I used the clouds first because they're a lot lighter, and I don't know, it's a little difficult to put the darker color underneath the lighter color. So one thing I did note about this paint was that it dried really, really fast. It dried so fast you could hardly blend and I got really annoyed that I didn't even finish this painting because, oh man, it was really annoying. And also something else is that it's kind of a little difficult to blend the colors because, I don't know, just the consistency, consistency is kind of difficult. But I do think it's a very nice kind of paint to just take around with you. It's like very easy, simple, relaxing kind of paint. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, I did use a little bit more water on this painting because I realized the time before that it dried so freaking fast. So basically, the good thing about this is that on the glass palette, I can blend it again by just putting more water on once it's dry. Uh, yeah, I used the dark color later, as you can see. This clouds didn't really turn out to look the best, but I took more time on the stars and it kind of looked a little better. Yeah, I definitely would recommend this paint because it's so easy and like portable and just just a good paint to use. I do very much enjoy it and if you were thinking of getting gouache, you should. So overall, my thoughts, I don't exactly know if I like it very much because, I don't know, it's just really freaking, it dries so fast. As you can see, it's like, actually you can't see, but throughout the video it dried so fast. I don't know if you like it. I don't compare it to this one. Which one do you like more? I kind of, I like the starry effect that this one has. It's nice and starry. I feel like every time I try and film me painting, it turns out ugly. I don't know why. I don't know why. Why does this happen? I guess I'm not concentrating enough on the painting. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try more. I don't know what happened, man. Those aren't meant to bend. No, those aren't meant to bend. Those aren't meant to bend. No, those aren't meant to bend. I hear your eyes and I see those cries I hear those eyes and I see those cries I can't be the only one who hears you Tears falling down at the party Saddest little baby in the room Fears tell me fears don't get me started 